love them, some hate them. If you introduce your pup to the crate the right way, it can be more of a cozy retreat than a prison. Your crate should be big enough for your pooch to stand up, turn around, and lay down comfortably. It's too big if your dog can pee on one end and hang out on the other end. Make sure it's just right. A barren crate is no fun. Toss in a comfy blanket, a few durable chewy toys, and an optional water dish. Avoid stuffed toys because you might come home to this. After it's set up, lure her in with some delicious treats and keep them coming. Make it rain treats! Once she's walking in and out with confidence, start closing the door for a few seconds while keeping the treats flowing. Closing the dog in for too long at the beginning can cause a lot of stress. Instead, ease them into it slowly. This brings us to tip number four. Start with short durations and then slowly work your way into longer stays in the crate. Begin with just a few seconds, then a few minutes, and so on. Giving her things like whole meals and stuffed Kongs inside the crate will keep her loving it. Awesome things plus crate equals crate love. Be sure to stay in the house during the beginning stages of crate training. Once you've worked your way close to an hour, pop in a movie and a Kong and hang out next to your pup. Once she can handle an hour with ease, then you can start leaving the house. If she seems annoyed by being shut in and starts barking, wait for a quiet moment to let her out, even if just a few seconds. A barking dog that gets let out learns, hey, barking's the way to get out of this thing, so I'm gonna bark all the time. And keep in mind, if she's barking, it probably means you're moving too fast. Slow down your progress. Your pooch should stay calm, cool, and collected during the whole training process. If you're seeing barking along with other stress signs, she may have anxiety about being left alone. Whining, pawing, chewing at the bars, and dilated pupils are all signs of stress. If you're seeing these signs, hold off on crating again until you speak with a certified professional dog trainer. Crates can be pricey, but used crates can often be found online or at thrift stores for half the price. Since a dog system slows down overnight, crating overnight is usually okay. But during the day, try to limit the lengths to four to five hours at a time. If you work eight hours straight, arrange for someone to take her out midday. Until your pup is comfortable being left alone in the crate for over an hour, you'll have to come up with alternative accommodation. Doggy daycares, friends, or a small dog-proof room can be effective temporary solutions. The more time you put into acclimating your dog to the crate, the faster she'll become fully crate trained. Just remember, go at the dog's pace and always make it a happy place. Upcoming webisodes will show you how to use your crate for house training problems and chewing problems, so stay tuned. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? Click that button right there so you can get all our upcoming webisodes of Home for Good.